Hi, I'm Gene with Performance Bicycle, and today I want to show you how to true a wheel. Tools you'll need, spoke wrench, truing stand, bladed spoke holder if your wheel has bladed spokes. Your wheel might be out of true because you've hit a curb, a log, something like that that has caused the wheel to go out of round and to cause maybe your brake pads to rub, um, possibly the wheel could produce a high speed wobble if it's not perfectly straight. All right, there are several things that are happening when the wheel is being trued. Okay, first of all, the way the wheel works is there's a big tug of war going on between the spokes on this side that attach to the, the flange of the hub right here and the spokes that are on this side of the wheel that attach to this flange over here on the other side. Like I said, there's a big tug of war between the two, okay? Uh, when a wheel goes out of true, that means one side is pulling a little bit harder than the other. And truing a wheel, we need to balance that out. So for instance, if the wheel, if the rim is too far off to one side, if it's rubbing the brake pads on this side of the wheel, then we need to um, do one of two things. We can either tighten the spoke on the opposite side of the wheel so where it pulls the rim that direction or we can loosen the spokes on the same side of the wheel which allows the rim to deflect to the opposite side. Another dynamic that's happening to the wheel while it's being trued is the rim is being pulled toward and away the, from the hub. So when you tighten the spoke the rim is pulled toward the hub and when you loosen the spoke the rim is pushed away from the hub. Good working habits. Work the spokes in two or three spoke combinations or sets. In most truing situations, never turn a spoke nipple more than a quarter to a half a turn. When adjusting spokes, rotate the wheel so the spokes being adjusted are near the six o'clock position. Truing the wheel with a stand. Spin the wheel and notice how the space between the rim and the caliper arms change. Determine which sections of the rim move closest to the caliper arms compared to the rest of the rim. Use the spoke wrench to tighten or loosen the spoke nipples in this section to reposition the rim so the rim equally clears the caliper arms all the way around the rim. To tighten the spoke nipple, turn the spoke wrench counterclockwise. To loosen the spoke nipple, turn the spoke wrench clockwise. To move the rim in a particular direction, it may be necessary to tighten one spoke nipple and loosen the spoke nipple directly next to it. During the truing process, continually move the caliper arms closer to the rim for more accurate truing. In this section, you can see the rim is too far to the right, so we're going to turn the spoke wrench clockwise to loosen the spoke so it moves the rim to the left and clears the caliper arm. After tightening spoke nipples, stress relieve the wheel by squeezing on opposing spokes on the wheel. This unwinds any spokes and creates a more stable wheel. Then after you've finished unwinding the spokes, recheck the trueness of the wheel in the stand. If you don't have a truing stand, you can still true your wheel while it's on the bike. If you have a bike with rim brakes, then you can use your rim brake pads as a reference point. If you have a bike that has disc brakes, you can use a nylon zip tie wrapped around the seat stay as a reference point. Once the zip tie is on, the process is the same as it was in the truing stand. And that's how you true a wheel. If you need more assistance, call our tech support line or visit one of our performance bicycle stores and talk to one of our spin doctor mechanics. And have a great ride.